velocity. Knowing the strength of the wind is very important to sailors. And you know, although we have all kinds of sensitive instruments these days to measure wind speed, we still tend to use words like light, gentle and moderate, which are part of a scale that was developed way back in 1806 by Admiral Beaufort, an English admiral. He was interested in sailing as well. He was also interested in fishing and lots of other things. So he came up with this system which had scale from zero to 12, force zero to force 12, and it helped people to work out what the force of the wind was, the speed of the wind, and to set their sails accordingly if they happen to be sailors. Well, let's translate that into things that we see around us. If the Beaufort scale says that the wind speed has force zero, what does that mean? Well, it means it's absolutely dead calm. It means if you look around you, nothing is moving. If you look out at the water in a river or a creek or anything else, the water appears to be a mirror. You can see reflections in it very clearly. The trees are not moving at all. The leaves are not moving either. That's called calm, of course. Now, if things are just moving, Beaufort called it light air. Let me show you what he meant. He meant if there's smoke coming from a chimney, instead of going straight up, it'll be drifting a little to the side. Just moving a little bit. That's called light air. Smoke drifting. Or Beaufort scale, force one. What does force two mean? Well, that means that there's a little bit more wind there. In fact, enough to make the leaves rustle. So if you look at the trees, you'll notice that the leaves are rustling. They're staying on the trees, but rustling. Now, by the time you get up to Beaufort scale force three, it means the, we the wind is moving a little bit more strongly. In fact, you'll feel it against your face. And if you look at things around you, you'll find that they are moving. The wind is moving at about eight kilometers per hour, walking speed. When it gets up to force four, it means that leaves are starting to blow. Let's have a look. It means if it happens to be autumn and you have leaves on the ground, then the wind speed will be such that those leaves start to move along and blow past you. And when that's happening, you can say, aha, it must be Beaufort scale force four. What does it mean when it's force five? Well, it means the wind is moving more strongly once again and branches will be swaying. So if you look up, you'll see that they are swaying. Nearly every branch in the tree. And by the time you get up to four six, this is a really strong breeze. And so if you happen to be outside with a hat on your head, you might lose it. If you happen to have an umbrella, that might turn inside out. So four six means that you have quite a strong breeze. You'll certainly feel that, and you may want to head indoors. By the time you get up to four seven, things have really started to move. In fact, it's called a moderate gale. Force 7 is so strong that if you look at any of the trees around you, you'll find that they are swaying. You want to know what Force 7 looks like? OK, we'll cue Force 7. Ah. You'll certainly need to batten down the hatches and grab anything that's valuable. That's Force 7. What about Force 8? Well, you go right through the scale and you get gales of various strengths till you get up to force 11. You know what happens then? Well, that's called a storm wind and the speed of the wind may be up around 115 kilometers per hour. If you're near the beach, look at the waves because you'll see them crashing on shore and perhaps causing all sorts of damage as well. That's Beaufort scale, force eight. What about force 12? That's the highest on Beaufort scale. That means that you have a hurricane. So you better get indoors in a safe place because nothing is safe from the damaging effect of a force 12 wind.